A top Iranian Revolutionary Guard commander is warning that Wednesday's missile attack on a base hosting US troops in Iraq is only the start of a revenge operation that will continue across the region. Ali Hajizadeh says Iran's strikes weren't meant to kill soldiers, but to damage the American military machine. Iran is dismissing US calls to negotiate following the assassination of Iranian military commander Qasem Soleimani. US President Donald Trump appeared to be backing away from further military confrontation with Iran on Wednesday. But he also announced fresh sanctions for Tehran until it changes its behaviour. Trump, though, is also facing opposition at home, with a vote set on Thursday to limit the president's ability to carry out further military action against Iran. Well, our White House correspondent Kimberly Hawkins is in Washington, D.C. We'll be speaking to her in just a moment. First, though, let's cross to Dorsa Jabari, who's in Tehran. Uh, Dorsa, this has been uh, a critical time in Iran, and now we're hearing developments uh, from this uh, Revolutionary Guard commander. What more does he have to say, and why is this significant? Well, this is a man in charge of the Revolutionary Guard's Aerospace Division. Um, he would have operated uh, under the direction of the head of the Revolutionary Guard, uh, commander himself, uh, who would have given the order to launch these ballistic missiles onto the U.S. base in western Iraq. Uh, this uh, Brigadier General Ali Haji Zadeh uh, gave a statement a short while ago detailing the operation the Iranians carried out by uh, launching 13 ballistic missiles onto the Ain al-Assad uh, U.S. base in western Iraq. Let's hear some of what he had to say. The missile attack conducted against the U.S. military base, in fact, was the beginning of a great move that, God willing, will be continued. Uh, well, Dorsa, we have been hearing lots of de-escalation, but what chance does diplomacy really have, particularly after comments like this? There's very little hope of any kind of rapprochement now, given the uh, assassination of Qasem Soleimani and now these missiles that have been launched. Uh, what was important to note from the statement that we just received from the Revolutionary Guards is that Iran was not after uh, harming or killing U.S. military personnel by this uh, attack that they carried out. Their aim was to hit military equipment at this U.S. base, and that is what they did. And he's, uh, this um, general also said that the United States did not respond. The Iranians were expecting a uh, immediate response, a military response from the Americans, but they did not do anything. And he said that uh, that is why the Americans should leave this region, that they should be prepared for more attacks until they are prepared to completely withdraw from the Middle East. That is something that we've heard from all levels of the leadership here since the assassination of Qasem Soleimani. And now, of course, Qasem Soleimani is the, the military commander at the centre of all of this. Uh, his funerals uh, have taken place and there was a ceremony to commemorate him today. Uh, just give us a sense of what happens in Iran, Dorsa. The official mourning period for Qasem Soleimani has ended, but the grieving period clearly has not. The Supreme Leader himself hosted a mourning ceremony in his own uh, compound in Tehran, uh, where we saw him uh, accompanied by the highest uh, levels of government, the President Hassan Rouhani, alongside the head of the country's judiciary, and the man who has been uh, replaced, uh, who has replaced Qasem Soleimani as the head of the Quds Force, um, Ismail Ghani, was sitting next to the Supreme Leader directly next to him on his left. So a very important gesture to the international community that even though Qasem Soleimani may no longer be uh, sitting next to the Supreme Leader, his replacement is very much there. And he uh, himself, uh, Ghani, issued a statement saying that his work will carry on the same path as that of Qasem Soleimani. So there is a mood here that the mourning period has officially ended, but the grief that the nation feels for this general that is no longer with them continues. And this is why many analysts here believe that this is something the Iranians will not let go. Uh, the assassination of Qasem Soleimani has really altered the course of history, not only in Iran, but in this entire region. And that is why any kind of dialogue with the United States now is seen as completely out of the question in the foreseeable future. Okay, Dorsa Jabari, thank you so much for bringing us up to date from the Iranian capital.